Today, we are taking a look at some great Blender courses that you probably missed. These courses range from learning lighting, post-production, creating environments and more. First, we're gonna take a look at a new training that was released by Gleb Alexandrov from Creative Shrimp. This training is all about cinematic lighting and how to achieve that professional cinematic look in your scenes. Gleb will be your instructor throughout the course, who has been doing this for many years and now accumulated all what he learned over his experience in this training, where he offers a complete explanation of all lighting knowledge and techniques that can make any render look more alive and cinematic. Now let's talk about what you will actually find in this course. With a 6 hour plus step by step guide for lighting in Blender, you will be able to understand and learn how to light your characters, steal objects, as well as 3D environments. Additionally, you will get to know the full workflow of lighting in both EV and Cycles. Furthermore, all the videos are manually edited with closed captions in English, and to help you follow along, you will get all the project files and the environments displayed in the course, as well as useful assets such as node groups, textures, and models. To be able to follow along, you will also need some basic knowledge of Blender's interface and tools. So if you are just starting out with Blender, I advise you to get familiar with the interface and basic tools first. One important thing is that there are no third-party add-ons or applications used in this course, so you will be using Blender only, which is great. Our next pick is Post Pro, which is an awesome course by the folks from TrueVFX, the developers behind some of the most popular add-ons for Blender, such as True Terrain, True Space, and True Sky. This course is gonna help you bring your art to the next level by mastering the art of post-processing. Often, when we create artwork, especially for beginners, we neglect the post-processing step, although it is one of the most important steps in crafting awesome renders. Often, the difference between good and stellar artwork is some final touches. Maybe the mood of lighting or some hand-painted details to really drive the idea of the artwork home and help give your artwork that extra boost. Throughout this 6 hour plus course, you will master the art of post-processing from beginner to pro. You will first start at the beginning, getting a good understanding of the differences between 3D and 2D software such as Blender, Photoshop or Affinity Photo. You will also learn some of the fundamentals like creating masks and using an adjustment layer, but also learning how to incorporate Blender output data for your advantage. Things like color pass and so on, which helps you fix mistakes in your render or change colors to your liking. You will also learn how to add atmosphere, fog, clouds, stars, light rays, rain, snow, and much more. This training also comes with a ton of content and resources such as practice files and a collection of brushes, Blender node groups for easy outputs, hotkey maps, and Photoshop files for the project you're gonna work on. Now we're gonna talk about a training called Cubicity. If you are into that low poly cute style of environments, then this course is definitely for you. Cubicity is a new training from CG Cookie, which will guide you through the process of creating an adorable stylistic city by leveraging the power of Blender asset libraries. Actually, one of Blender's latest added features is the Asset Browser, which is a new addition to organize all your models, materials, note trees, and poses, in addition to other stuff. This is essential when dealing with a big project, especially with a lot of models, assets, and materials, as it not only helps you organize the workflow, but also allows you to easily reuse and reshare assets between multiple files and easily update them if needed. In this training, which is divided into three main chapters, you will be mainly creating the assets, adding them so they are accessible through the asset browser, and finally assembling all the pieces to create a city. You will start first by creating something simple such as light post or bench in the first chapter. And in the second one, you will see more intermediate assets when you learn how to create modular assets and learn all about modularity by creating buildings that fit within a grid layout or a street section that not only needs to have seamless geometry but also seamless materials and textures. In chapter 3, you will see some advanced techniques. You will learn how to create simple parametric buildings using geometry nodes, which is great. And also dive in deep into automated material randomization, which is also important to create variation when you are using multiple assets at the same time. The great thing about this course is the way it is set up and structured, where there is something to learn for everyone. Not to mention your instructor, Kent Tramel, who's great at breaking down concepts and guiding you through the whole process. So if low poly modeling and environment creation is your thing, you're gonna love this one a lot. Alright, our next pick is a Grease Pencil course, also from CG Cookie. In the last few releases, the Grease Pencil has seen a lot of progress 
and it is now a fully fleshed and powerful illustration tool, but for some reason, there is a shortage of trainings around it. And this is where a course called Panels comes in. You will learn how to create a comic using the Grease Pencil tool, also using the CG Cookie Ichi project as inspiration, which was an iPad game by Jonathan and Wes, the founders of CG Cookie. And you will do that by incorporating some of the main characters in the course. But your instructor throughout this is gonna be Paul. You will first be introduced to the Grease Pencil tool, how to set up your startup file and set up your workspace. In addition to getting ready to draw, next you will learn how to break down a script into panels and pages like the one you see in comics. In addition, you will learn how to rough out your thumbnails, refine your pencil stroke, ink and color, and learn how to shade your artwork, as well as learning how to create awesome typography for the comic. And you will finish things up with the cover and setting up your file for rendering and printing. If you are interested in one of these courses, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.